Today I want to show off to you what I think is one of my favorite like HD cameras of all time, and that's the Insta360 Go. This little baby camera weighs 20 grams, shoots 1080p, and it makes super stabilized footage with Insta360's flow state. Their stabilization software, which I've reviewed in the past, does an incredible job. And with this camera, um, it actually records level in any direction. So you can think of it as like a 180 degree 3D camera. So like if you film upside down, the footage is gonna come out right side up. If you film it sideways, it's gonna come out right side up. If you film it this way, it's gonna come out right side up and it's gonna be super stable and awesome. Obviously you could turn off stabilization and use it stabilized or post or stabilized, um, but you can do all of that in post, which is absolutely incredible. The uh, camera itself comes with um, a bunch of different uh, accessories. So the first and most important, obviously, here is the charging base. So you can see that there's two, there's some contacts right there. There's a wireless charging pad here in the middle, and then just open space. And you can see on the back of the Go, there's a bunch of contacts. And when those contacts are connected, uh, there's now a data connection between the camera and the um, this device, which has a battery, so it's charging it. It's kind of a lot like, it's a lot like AirPods, right? You know, you have your, your charging base and then they work separate apart from that. And then all that stuff, it's super, super cool. Um, there's usually a little plastic cover that goes over top of this thing, but I uh, almost always lose it immediately if I'm going to be honest, but like it stays in there really well. Like it's, it makes a good, good solid contact. Um, by default, there's a, uh, lightning bolt. Um, for plugging it into iOS devices that's built into the bottom and then there's a little plastic piece that goes over top of that um, and then for Android users there's they set they include an OTG cable um, that goes from USB mini to USB C or USB mini whatever your device is um, there's you know a, a level status indicator the camera's charging um, but yeah so this is kind of the most important device it charges this the camera runs for I don't know, probably an hour worth of uh, filming uh, without a charge and then when you put it on the charger it lasts like that. One thing you'll notice about the camera is that there's no way to like put an SD card in it. And that's because the memory is built in. It has an 8 gigabyte like flash memory built into the camera that you can't take out. So you have to put it on the thing, plug it into your phone, and offload the footage before you carry on. So that's one downside of it but at the same time you know 20 gram camera. Pretty freaking crazy. Um, other accessories that it comes with, it's got this little tripod mount, which is a quarter 20 thread. So like it'll work with all tripods. Um, and then you can put it on this and then this magnetizes inside of the thing and it will not come out. Like I've, I've mounted this on the outside of cars going down roads and stuff like that. And it has not popped off and you just have to, I've got really big fingers, so it's hard for me to get it out, but you can just poke it out with something and then you get it out like that. Um, I use this tripod mount. Uh, which has a big sticky thing on it um, to do like travel time lapse. Uh, so when I'm like at the airport or traveling through the airport, I stick this on, you know, pointing out the plane window and I can see, uh, you know, I can do a time lapse, super stabilized, showing, you know, the plane taking off, flying into the sky, coming above the clouds and stuff like that it looks really, really cool. So I love that about this because you can just sticky it to the window and then turn this up and you're basically shooting straight out the window and you don't see any of the stuff down here. Um, that's, yeah, I love that feature of it. Then this is a like a lapel clip, so also magnetized like that. Um, it's designed to like kind of go on your jacket or something like that. Um, and then this is a, a part of that lapel clip just to help you can change the angle of that a little bit. Uh, and then they also send this necklace thing, which is, it sounded kind of stupid to me at first, but I'm in love with it. Um, so basically the camera sticks to this necklace and you wear this necklace over, um, you know, underneath your shirt and then the camera sticks to your shirt basically. So you kind of have this like body cam, super stabilized that showing, you know, what you're interacting with. And then the last accessory that comes with it, and I've got mine like mounted up here on this camera. So I have it stuck to the side of my Osmo action, my little vlogging rig so that I can put this 
right on the side of the camera like that when I'm not using it. And then I can move it to my chest or to one of these mounts. Um, but what I, and then the other reason I have it is so I can put this tripod together sideways and then I use this to do time lapses. So like rather than using the main camera to get the time lapse and setting it all up, I just run the time lapse and point the tripod sideways and I can aim it, you know, wherever I need to. Um, and that's been a really useful feature. I'll show a couple of the videos of doing that. When this camera was originally released, the longest recording it could do was a minute. Uh, so a minute of uh, 1080p super stabilized recording. And uh, because of that, I think that the FPV community pretty much missed it, right? Like it's, you know, we can't really do much with a minute of recording time. You know, what's the point of this camera for us? You know, we want it to be flying. Well, so I've been kind of interacting with the Insta360 team. And eventually, for whatever reason, they decided to add... Uh, or to, to, to do some testing, and they found out that it can actually record for five minutes. The limit before was a, it was a limit on temperature. So like with all of the electronics in this thing um, compact into such a small little body, just to give you a sense of scale, like this is a 2207 motor here, um, and then this is the, the Insta360 Go. So it's tiny, like this camera is very, very small. What would happen is that the camera would get so hot that they were worried about it starting to damage itself. And so they didn't allow it to record for five minutes. Now they've done some testing, especially with FPV machines where there's a lot of airflow, like because the camera is, you know, getting wind pushed over top of it, it actually does fine for a five minute recording. And so they've just added that feature for iOS and Android. Um, so now you can set this camera to record for five minutes. I'm so excited about this. I've been wanting to be able to do this forever. And I forgot that I had this stupid iPad that is what allows me to be able to get through here and actually test this out, so. Okay. <laughs> okay, anyway. So what I should be able to do is go into settings, go button settings, quick capture, recording off, like 60 seconds. Go record videos up to five minutes in this mode. Use it only when auxiliary cooling measures are available, such as the drone lifts the propeller or after the fan is turned on. After recording, wait for the camera to cool down before taking it to prevent burns. Do not leave it to children. <laughs> That's great. So I'm actually gonna change this photo mode, standard video, confirm, five minutes, BV mode, confirm. And then we'll leave this one as standard photo. Okay, so that makes sense. So like, because they're worried about it burning, they don't allow you to do standard, or like the single tap to video, but you can hold it to turn it on and then single tap it and it will start recording for five minutes. That's pretty sweet. Cool, let's give this a go. just finished let's see how warm this thing is uh, it's pretty warm it's not like it's not burning but it's it's definitely got a healthy temperature to it so but yeah hey it recorded for five minutes can't complain about that at all so to power it there's basically so there's a button here um, and basically you know when it's on a mount for example you just push down on the body of the camera and it comes alive and then you push again and it starts to record. Oh, I kind of missed it. So now you can see that the light is blinking and it's recording. Um, but this, it's really just a button at the back. You kind of get that nice clicky feeling. Um, and, uh, and then you can also, my favorite, one of my favorite features with it, apart from just recording normal footage, um, if I can stop this recording. So once it's on, you double tap the button it starts a hyperlapse. So it'll record, you know, every 20 seconds or like every second it'll take a shot or maybe I think it's a, you know, a little less than that. And, you know, when you're going through driving, going on the airplane, whatever, um, it's recording that hyperlapse mode, super stabilized. You can choose whether to stabilize it post or during. Um, it's up to you. Uh, and that allows you to get some really, really cool time lapses. Um, and then also, so if I stop that, you'll wait for it to stop and then triple click 
it will do a slow motion recording where it's recording at 100 fps um the all of those options are changeable like you can go into the app and set them from one thing to the other to the other uh, and that is pretty cool for the camera so for a lot of my videos lately i've been using this to film micro quads so i've been playing around with a couple different micro quads including the uh, trans tech demon here and so what i did for my video was i actually you can see on the back of this thing here i scratched up the back and hot glued this mount to the back of it and then pointed it forward over top obviously without this bottom plate and that was how i was able to get you know uh, super stabilized footage um, in HD from on top of a little micro drone. Uh, but then I've also been playing around with what would it look like if I put it on a full size, um, like a five inch drone and used it for racing. So this is my uh, 533 switchback. And uh, I took the turtle fin and moved it from the front where it's normally kind of like the horn and put it at the back. And I literally took the camera and I mounted it upside down because I wanted to see like more of the drone in the shot. And I literally just taped it to this. And uh, this is the result that I got. But what's awesome about combining this tiny little camera with a high performance racing drone is that I'm now able to get 1080p stabilized footage. So I get this really, really cool looking racing shot, um, but not at the sacrifice of much weight. So if you think about like seeing racing footage, you're so used to seeing the weight of the GoPro kind of being hauled around with the drone. And now that the weight is now down by you know what does a gopro weigh like 80 or 90 grams i think you know you're bringing it down to just 20 grams like it almost doesn't look like it has the weight of the hd camera on board and to me that is pretty exciting for being able to record race footage like i wouldn't use this to record freestyle footage right i don't care about the weight of a gopro on there but if i'm in a racing situation and i can record my races with a camera that bar barely weighs anything, you know, that's as a content creator, especially something that's really compelling to me. So I'm very, very excited about the application of using this with a racing drone. With the Insta360 Go's new firmware coming out where the uh, five minute recording is now enabled, I think that this is a pretty phenomenal uh, device for the FPV market. Um, I'm super excited about it. I've been playing with mine since well before the five minutes thing was around because I like what I can do with it for, like it's perfect for travel footage, for vlogging, stuff like that. Like the audio quality, not so great, you know, that's whatever, but you know, it's ability to kind of capture the day in the life of the moments of what's going Going on you know when I'm traveling when I'm you know just getting in the car to drive to the field like I can get some cool content to help pro progress the story along the way so I wanted to share with you kind of my excitement about the new firmware and the power that this device has had to help me as a creator um, 
please feel free to check it out. I've included a link in the description below that is uh, a direct uh, link to how to um, or to, to support this channel. It's an affiliate link. Um, if you choose to purchase it, I would appreciate that. But if not, I totally get it. If you found this content interesting or useful, uh, please feel free to subscribe and definitely leave a comment and like. It doesn't matter what that comment is. It helps me no matter what. Um, and stay flying.